Hello, Winter Warriors. I am your host, Haley Shanley, and you're listening to the GPSV Podcast. When in doubt, throttle it out. Bienvenue. Welcome. This is Haley Shanley, host of the GPSV podcast. Joining me today is a very special guest. I'm super excited. Sabrina Blanchet. She is a professional ice oval snowmobile athlete. She made history in 2020 as the first ever woman to qualify for the world championship. And that very same year here in Valcour, she finished second in the top class. So a woman who is constantly making history and breaking barriers for women in racing. And I know for her, it's not a matter of if, but when she'll break that next barrier with a win. Sabrina Blanchet, thank you so much for joining us. How are you? I'm good. Now, I know you race sprint cars in the summertime. So were you able to race this summer and how did it go? I did not race a lot uh, because of the COVID, but uh, it was not uh, pretty good. So that leads me to my next question. While you're not racing, are you able to practice at all? What does that look like? No, I did not. uh, um, I don't have, uh, like, I'm not going to compete this year with the sled because uh, of the COVID. And um, uh, all the race I was supposed to do this year, it's uh, canceled. So, yeah, I'm not going to compete this year with the snowmobile. So I'd have to assume no racing. It's likely no practice either then, just a full year off. Uh, I I don't know. I will see with the, the team, but uh, I don't think we, we will go out this year. But maybe it's going to be possible to practice, but uh, I don't know yet. No. Man, that has to be frustrating. Well, I look forward to seeing you in 2022 back on the snowmobile. But speaking of snowmobiles, let's talk a little bit about those and your family history with them, specifically with Grand Prix Ski du de Valcour. Your family history with the event goes back a few generations. So tell me about that. Um, it starts with uh, my grandfather, Gaston. Uh, he raced for many years, like maybe 50 years. So yeah, he, he worked for uh, at the Ski du factory and he also uh, lived to Valcour because he was working for them and uh, yeah so uh, I never used to race against my grandfather but I wish I could because we, we, did, we did not race in the same categories but uh, yeah I wish I could race with him and last year when I finished second at, at uh, Valcour he was really proud of me. Now do your parents race or your siblings or just your grandfather and you? Uh, no my parents uh, just come watch me and uh, yeah, nobody in the family now where he's racing, only me. Well, let me ask you about your goals. Of course, you are so young, you have this big career ahead of you, but you've already accomplished so much. What is the ultimate goal for you? And what are some of your other goals? I have some goal for sure, but uh, I don't, uh, I never put too much pressure on myself just because if it's not going like I would like, I don't want to be disappointed to win the world championship in the 440 Superman, it's my 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 next goal for sure. And just to win the a pro champ races too. Now the 40th edition of GPSV has been rescheduled to 2022. That means a whole year off for you. So what are you going to have to do to prepare for 2022? What does that look like given you have a year off? Um, I think uh, for sure I'm going to I'm going to work out like I I, I do now just to stay in shape and be ready for the 2022 season. Um, but uh, next year, for sure, I would like to uh, to win, uh, to, be, to be in a girl river and to be able to race uh, the 440 Super Mod and try to win the world championship. And uh, I would like to to win my first pro champ race. Now you're also working full time. Tell us what do you do and how do you balance that with your training and sled preparation? I work at the like car quest. So uh, I'm doing both. I go uh, at the shop uh, in the night to work uh, on the sled and cars. And during the day I'm working at, uh, at my, my job. So yeah, I'm busy. Now, GPSV, obviously, there's such a strong family history there for you. It's a place you've done well. Um, it's such a big event. What about it stands out to you the most? What's your favorite part of the GPSV? I would say just because, uh, like I told you, it's uh, it's the home track. Everybody come there to support me. And uh, I love the track, too. Yes, it's pretty rough. 
and uh, it's a nice track. Uh, it's 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 fast and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. this is. So Falkor is your favorite venue, favorite event. Uh, you've obviously done well there and at Eagle River, but of all the Isoval tracks, all the USSA Pro Star and any Isoval track you race, which one is best suited to your riding style? That's a good question, but maybe like I like Ironwood. I don't. I don't like like when it's uh, when the corner is too uh, like Eagle River. I don't really like this track, but I think Valcourt is one of my best track and Egan, Eganville. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. In 2019, you raced the 440 Supermod class at the Eagle River, the World Championship. Take me back to that day. How did it go? What went on? Uh, yeah, I raced the 440 Supermod. It was a, a big weekend and um, I qualified P1 over like 40 sled it was it was pretty nice and in the final on the sunday uh, i was leading the race for seven lap and after that uh, in the corner one and two the motor blew up so it, it was the end of the race so yeah it was a heartbreak now sabrina what is something most fans wouldn't know about you um i think it's uh, the first time they saw me uh, maybe I look like pretty shy. Yes, I'm 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 a shy person, but for real, when you know me, uh, I really like to have fun and just laugh for everything. Sabrina, let me ask you this, and I think I know what your answer is going to be. So, if not your grandfather, who would your snowmobile hero be? That's a good question because I was going to say my grandfather, for, of course, but I don't know seriously. Well, it sounds like he's been an awesome role model. Well, Sabrina, that is all the questions I had today. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to chat with me today here on the podcast. I look forward to seeing you in 2022. Yeah, thank you. All right, bye-bye now. Bye.